Welcome to the new and improved VMRD customer portal. In this video, I will show you how to create and submit a request for Biologics testing services. If you are not yet a portal user, contact us to get sign-on credentials. Please provide your name, company name, company ID if known, and contact information. You will be provided a username and a temporary password, which you will be asked to change upon initial login. To access the portal, navigate to the link provided in the video description below and sign in. This is your portal dashboard. From here, you can view and request changes to your personal information, check the status of previously submitted samples, access final reports and requested bench records for previously completed tests, and add a new request. Let's add a new request by clicking the Add Request button at the upper right corner of your dashboard. Start your request by adding some general information. Enter the purchase order you would like to appear on your final invoice. If the PO is currently unknown, you can save the request without it, but it will be required in order to submit your request. If you would like bench records for testing, make sure bench records requested is selected. Enter any notes you feel might be relevant for this request. For example, if you are requesting tests from a VMRD quote, Enter the quote number to ensure that you receive quoted pricing. Or, if you plan to request a test with an auto-selected test, 9C AOP BOVE, for example, and you do not need the accompanying test, such as 9C AOP VERO, include this in the Order Notes field. Now we can start adding samples to your request. Click Add Sample. A pop-up window will appear with basic information. Enter the number of samples to be submitted and pick the sample type from the three available categories cell lines, master seed virus, or animal origin product. Let's start with animal origin product. Click Add Sample. A sample grid has now been added to the request. If you've added multiple samples, one grid for each sample will populate. You must fill out the requested information in the highlighted fields prior to saving or submitting your request. Enter the sample lot number. Select the permit to be used to authorize transport of your material to our facility. If you do not know which permit is appropriate or if one is needed, contact us and we will help you figure it out. Enter the sample description. Enter the sample container quantity. The sample container quantity refers to the number of bottles or other container types to be included in the shipment for this sample. For example, if you intend to send three 100 milliliter bottles, then three would be the sample container quantity. Enter the sample amount per container. This refers to the volume in each container noted in the previous field. In the given example of three 100 milliliter bottles, the sample amount per container would be 100. Enter the Sample Quantity Unit of Measure, or UOM. In the given example, this would be ML. Choose the appropriate storage requirement for this sample from the drop-down menu. Choose the test article type from the next drop-down menu. If the type of sample you are submitting is not included in this drop-down menu, choose Other and enter the test article type in the following field. Now that basic sample information has been added, it is time to request assays for this sample. Click Add Test. A pop-up window will appear. Select one or more tests to the sample and click Add and Select Tests when ready. This will add the selected test or test to the samples on the grid. In our example, you can see that 9C AOP BOVE was added to the sample with a green check mark along with 9C AOP Vero, which is automatically included with 9C AOP BOVE. You may also request tests for additional viruses by clicking Edit under the appropriate test. Add as many samples and tests as necessary for your request. You can also add samples of a different type, such as master seed virus and cell lines to the same request. The steps for adding these sample types are the same, however there are minor differences in the fields required for sample information. For example, if entering a cell line, you will need to enter the species of origin and growing conditions of the cells. For master seed viruses, you will need to enter the neutralization method. Remember to add tests for each sample and sample type and make sure they are properly added by looking for the green check marks in each sample grid. When you are done entering samples and requesting tests, 
Save or submit your request. Saving your request will allow you to alter previously entered information without submission. When you are ready, click Submit Request. A pop-up window confirming your submission will appear. Resist the temptation to close this pop-up window as it contains a link to your sample submission form which must be included with your shipment along with the selected transit permit. Open the form using the link and print. If you did close the confirmation pop-up window prior to accessing your submission form, don't panic. You can access this form on your portal dashboard by scrolling to the right and clicking the link in the sample submission form column. If your submission is successful, you will see a request ID and a status of submitted on the portal dashboard. Keep checking this dashboard for status updates. This will also be where you can access your final reports and or requested bench records once testing is completed. So that's it, the whole submission process. Now you can package and ship your sample to our facility. For a shipping checklist, refer to our website at the link provided in the video description below. If you have any questions regarding transit permits, sample submission, or the customer portal, please contact us at info at bmrd.com or call us at 509-334-5815. We are always ready to help. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video or if you have suggestions for improvement, leave a comment below. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn, or Facebook to get company updates.